Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday start of the work week upon us here. It is Monday, April 29th, 2024, about 9.07 a.m. California time, 10.07 a.m. here, Mountain Time, in the beautiful state of Colorado. Absolutely beautiful out here today. Blue, clear skies starting to warm up out here in eastern Colorado. All right, latest activity here on the globe shows some further movement into the, uh, the uh, hopefully Oklahoma is not out here, Hawaii. Quite a bit of movement stirring up out here in the Pacific around Kilauea Volcano. Now check out all this activity ramping up. Make sure we got the most recent updated map. Still seeing quite a bit of swarming up here across the southern and just the extreme eastern, upper easter, eastern uh, rift zone here of Kilauea Volcano with about... Uh, close to 100 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. Now these are not big earthquakes, but these are signs here of some things happening below the surface in terms of magma accumulation and magma migration and movement. Goodness, so almost 100 earthquakes. Uh, it does follow that trail off here to the southeast rift zone or towards the, uh, yeah, the southeast and the east rift zone over here. So uh, let's check out the latest information here from uh, the site real quick see what's going on. This is from the USGS.gov site. They are doing daily updates It looks like it's a little early. They have not put out an update yet the uh, previous one there from yesterday discussed the earthquake activity and the um, The happenings there below the region and uh, potential for eruptive activity Should this continue or get uh, you know advance a little bit more a look at the um, webcams up there around the east flank and the uh, upper east rift zone show uh, pretty cloudy skies really not seeing anything uh, in terms of eruptive activity now the uh, deformation chart here in the last two days did show a little decline but we're starting to go back up here this is very typical and normal in terms of magma uh, fluctuation below the surface the subsurface area and uh, we're still elevated though look at that this is the last 30 days we're peaking up there once again and long-term models here show that uh, the past year we're matching the previous highest level inflation there across the Kilauea volcano since 2018 so things are happening uh, and they're happening pretty quickly uh, not quite an eruption yet but uh, we'll continue to watch that I think uh, we'll see much larger earthquake activity uh, in the region where fissure activity will open up just prior uh, to that fissure activity. If we look at the last seven days, uh, most of the movement here has, has been really confined across the southern summit region and over here across this uh, southeast rift zone area. Uh, so it's possible, very possible, we could see uh, you know this the area of interest in terms of the eruptive activity. So we will continue to check back on that uh, quite often there across the Kilauea volcano. The rest of the map out here, let's check out the west coast, see what's going on here. Of course, Cascadia subduction zone there, seeing a little bit of tremor and also some earthquake activity at the extreme southern end of that subduction zone. Uh, the rest of the state of California, minimal earthquake activity at best and uh, really not seeing any major swarming going on here. Nothing above 2.5. Uh, well, Anza area, it looks like a 2.7 a couple hours ago. That is in between the San Jacinto Fault and the Elsinore Fault. Uh, if I remember right, there's another segment here of the San Jacinto Fault uh, just to the west, but not showing up here on the USGS map. But overall, seismic activity looks typical across the California region. Up here in Yellowstone National Park, still seeing an earthquake swarm. Uh, most of the activity here north of west Yellowstone, outside the Yellowstone caldera. Let's bring up the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations here and check this out. Uh, the earthquake activity in question is going to be this movement right over here. Pretty obvious, right? That's a, a well-defined signature of some very small earthquakes there within the last 24 hours. Um, this looks like mainly in the last 10 hours or so uh, that we're seeing all that earthquake activity. Nothing big. Uh, some of that movement definitely shown up here across Holmes Hill. But uh, again, these are very small earthquakes, roughly in the one range maybe up to 1.5 at the highest. USGS only showing about five earthquakes, but uh, you know, if you look at some of these um, spikes here, you can count five or more just in this little area. And uh, within the past few hours, you know, probably five times uh, seven maybe. 
Somewhere around there would be the uh, correct number <clears throat> as far as the uh, earthquake tally. All right, uh, let's see what else is going on out here. It's quite dry out here in eastern Colorado. I'm feeling the differences between uh, dew points up in the 60s and 70s and, and low dew points out here in eastern Colorado. Goodness. All right, Texas area, quite a, well, there's some earthquake activity. A lot of this from yesterday here out in the oil fields outside of Pecos, Texas. Uh, same for about the Oklahoma area. Really no uptick there in Oklahoma. Across the New Jersey area, this earthquake activity from yesterday. Got about six earthquakes here within that region of the uh, 4.8 that struck here a few weeks back. So now we're up at, uh, well, we're up at about, about 158 earthquakes here in the New Jersey, New Jersey area. Again, six from yesterday. Nothing being reported today so far. All right, looking out at the globe model here shows 2.5 up into the uh, Alaska area. A little bit of movement here across our uh, region northwest of the Tonga region. Got a 4.8, 5.2, and a 4.5 here across the Papua New Guinea region. Showing some uh, movement here today. That's noted also on the map here on the uh, USGS map. Nothing showing up here for New Zealand for now. These earthquakes up into the... Um, Japan area and Taiwan are from yesterday, so it looks like today's movement confined here across the area of um, the Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands region. Minimal activity across the Java Trench for now. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Pretty quiet around the rest of the globe, it looks like. As uh, far as the space weather activity, solarham.com is the site to check out. Uh, the space weather activity it looks like things are mellowing out we did see some M flare activity last night uh, that was from a um, sunspot that is currently facing earth and uh, see if i can get this to kick up not for sure there we go uh, it's going to be this area right here we had an m 3.7 it looks like a couple other c flares since then but uh, that M flare coming off of 30 i believe it's 3654 right here which is somewhat magnetically complex, still harbors some potential for some flaring, but in all honesty, that's about the only region here on the visible disk that uh, is worthy of any uh, further watching. Uh, overall threat right now, 99% chance for C flare, M flare at 35, X flare around 5% chance or so. And uh, aside from that, really no major roars in the forecast, things looking pretty quiet in terms of that uh, activity. Storm Prediction Center out here today does show uh, a little bit of thunderstorm activity down across portions of the south, mainly into Texas and the Louisiana area. Um, that's a marginal risk for some severe weather. It looks like mainly wind down there across that area. Uh, the rest of these regions are just general thunderstorm activity. Tomorrow and the next day brings back the severe weather threat a little bit higher up into the uh, area around the northern plains upper Midwest area hail tornado threat returns to that region as well and uh, that looks to be uh, quite active there as we head towards the end of the week we'll cover that a little bit later as we get closer uh, to that uh, time frame all right uh, let's check out yesterday's storm reports here now I know we've seen a, a few tornadoes out there as well got about two reported uh, there in the area of Oklahoma in Arkansas area. I think we had a couple more out here. These are just confirmed reports, uh, but uh, not quite as active yesterday as it was on the 27th there. Goodness, had a, a quite the tornado outbreak out here uh, a couple days ago. Uh, but that's good, you know, good to keep those uh, tornado counts down. Again, these are just the confirmed ones. I'm sure there may have been a few more. All right, uh, let's see what else we got out here, folks, in terms of anything uh, major going on. I think that's about it. Um, again, I'm out here in, in uh, eastern Colorado for right now. Going to look around a little bit um, and then uh, probably head home. So I will be um, home shortly on the live stream there at home. I think I still have it up and running as far as the live stream goes. Looks like it's up and running. So I uh, hope everyone has a good day. Please stay safe out there, and uh, we'll continue to watch the activity there across the Kilauea Volcano. Uh, again, uh, key to watch the earthquake activity. 
All right, that tells us what's going on below the subsurface along with the inflation chart. And it's wanting to pick up areas here across the region of the um, upper east rift zone here. So it's something we'll continue to watch here, folks, and report back on anything that changes. Have a good day. Enjoy your Monday out there. It is Monday. Goodness. Um, yeah, almost May. We'll catch you guys back out here sometime later today, folks. Take care. Stay safe out there.